Hello, welcome to today's video where I'll be covering my webcomic process in Clip Studio Paint. Clip Studio Paint has just released version 3.0, which includes a variety of new useful tools for illustration and comic art. Today I'll be going over a few of my favorite new features added with version 3.0 and some ways you can use them in your art making process. Links to additional tutorials, as well as everything mentioned in today's video, will be down in the description below. The first of the new features I'd like to discuss is the new layer comps panel. Sometimes when I'm working on an illustration or comic with a lot of layers, I find myself wishing there was a way to quickly toggle multiple layers on and off together. Maybe I've got a few different effects I'd like to try out, or I just want to do a before and after comparison. With the addition of the layer comps panel, we can achieve this really easily. You can find the panel by going to Window Layer Comps. Then simply go down to your list of layers and decide which ones you'd like to keep visible. Set the layer's visibility how you want it, then hit the Add Layer Comp button to create a comp. By clicking the visibility toggle, you can turn this comp on and off, effectively creating a simple switch to toggle multiple layers at once. Another new feature I'd like to highlight is the new search bar in the Quick Access panel. Until now, all tools in the Quick Access panel had to be registered to the list in advance for you to be able to use them. But as of version 3.0, now you can simply type the name of your tool into the search bar, and a full list of all your tools matching that name will appear to use. After searching for the tool you want to use, you can register it to Quick Access by right-clicking and going to Add to Quick Access, then selecting your preferred Quick Access list. This simple feature is really useful for compiling a quick access menu of various tools and features scattered across the program. Sometimes I know what tool I want to use, but not where it's located, and it used to be a hassle to hunt them down to get them onto the menu. The search bar definitely makes the process so much faster and easier. I could see myself staying more organized with my tools this way. A really useful feature added for Clip Studio Paint's 3D body models is the incorporation of Pose Maniacs poses. Pose Maniacs is a site for finding pose references for drawing. Unlike Clip Studio Paint, it allows the user to pose and adjust the viewing angle of multiple 3D human bodies. With this new feature, poses selected from Pose Maniacs can be imported into Clip Studio Paint and used with Clip's own body models. To add a Pose Maniacs pose, go to File, Import, 3D Pose, Pose Maniacs. This will open the Pose Maniacs page on your device's browser. From here, you can pick the pose you want by searching through the site's tags. Once you've chosen your pose, you can use the provided Open in Clip Studio Paint button to bring the pose into Clip Studio Paint. This is an incredibly useful feature for anyone who wants to use Pose Maniacs poses as art reference in a more direct way. Being able to combine Pose Maniacs' huge library of poses with the customizability of Clip Studio Paint's body models is a big plus for me. Version 3.0 has also added some new filters and effects to its library. Under the Filter Effect menu, we can find all the new filters. Chromatic Aberration, Pencil Drawing, Film Camera, and Noise. Each of these filters has adjustable sliders and settings you can tweak to achieve the result you like. These are going to be extremely useful for both illustrators and comic artists looking to quickly add in new effects to their work. A normal map filter has also been added with this update, allowing any art to be turned into normal maps for 3D work. This feature is especially useful since 3D models with normal maps can be imported into Clip Studio Paint for drawing reference. For non-3D artists, this filter can also be used to create the impression of a raised or embossed texture. By using the normal map filter on a simple shape, then making some color adjustments, we can make our shape look three-dimensional, which can be useful for drawing accessories or metal pieces. Finally, under the Edit Tonal Correction menu, Clip Studio Paint has added a new Color Match feature, which allows you to adjust the color grading of your art based on another image source. You can either import an image to be used as the basis for the color adjustment, or select a gradient from your gradients list. One handy way that comic artists can use this feature is by exporting their background as a flat image, then selecting their character's color layer and using the color match feature. By importing the background layer, it'll automatically tone the character's colors to match the background. 
This makes for a really good starting off point when trying to tone your characters to match the scenery they're in. Finally, one feature I've been highly anticipating is the inclusion of export presets. As someone who frequently posts art online in various formats, being able to save certain presets to match certain size and format requirements will be a huge time saver for me. To create a preset, set the export settings to your preferences, then click the save button next to the preset dropdown and name the preset whatever you like. Those are just a few of the new features coming to Clip Studio Paint in version 3.0. Check the description below for my social media links and more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Clip Studio Paint.